So whether it's that last house on the left or the house that Jack built, most neighborhoods aren't complete without that strange home that stands out from the rest. However, there are some people who've taken that strange house to outrageous new heights. Here's the 10 most unusual houses in the world. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> At first glance, you might think that this incredibly bizarre house had been washed away in a flood. However, when you take a closer look, you'll notice that it was built to an extraordinary design. Given the fact that this house is still standing is a feat in it of its own right, but to build a classic North American cottage on a tiny remote island and on the most impossible of foundation, well, that takes things to a whole new level. Sure. Many homes across the planet are built with the desire to get away from the rest of society. Just take a look at the hundreds of thousands of cabins in the woods or cottages by the sides of lakes. Just Enough Room Island, also known as Hub Island, is a vacation home located in the Thousand Islands of New York. It is the smallest inhabited island in the world, roughly around 3,300 square feet. It was purchased by the Sizeland family back in the 1950s who wanted their own holiday island to get away from society for a few weeks at a time. Well, obviously, that's exactly what they got. One misstep and you're swimming in the lake. The Crocodile House The Crocodile House Ever thought about living in a crocodile? No? Well, okay, but what about a giant hollowed out crocodile carved entirely from stone. If that piques your interest, then surely this incredibly unusual habitat is just for you. Situated in the center of Abidjan, the former capital of the Ivory Coast, the Crocodile House is owned by a local architect named Chiri Ada, who goes about his day-to-day -day life from the safety and comfort of a giant concrete crocodile. Although Ada is very much at home in this incredibly unusual habitat, it was actually designed and built by a local artist by the name of Musa Kalo. Tragically, just two months before the Crocodile House was actually built, Musa Kalo sadly passed away. The current inhabitant, Ada, was an apprentice of the eccentric artist and felt compelled to honor his artistic mentor by completing the weird and wonderful Crocodile House. Believe it or not, but the Crocodile House is completely livable and it is seen as an icon of the local neighborhood. Winnikinny Castle Across the picturesque landscapes of Europe, the ancient castles of the medieval era are a dime a dozen. In America, though, you'd think that finding a fully functioning castle out in the woods is a little unexpected. But believe it or not, the United States also has its fair share of hospitable fortification. Perhaps the most incredible of them all is Winnikinny Castle, which takes its name from the Algonquin word meaning very beautiful inspired by the structures in ancient castles of England, an English chemist by the name of James Nichols first built the castle with 35,000 cubic feet of glacial boulders in Haverville, Massachusetts. While the New England state is no stranger to weird and wonderful designs of colonial America, undertaking the mammoth tasks of building a castle, brick by brick, was a back-breaking endeavor. As the legend goes, Nichols treated the castle's construction as an experiment, determined to prove that ancient construction methods still stood the test of time. He believed it so much that he later wrote a book about it. Oh, and obviously, he had his own castle to prove it to. The Dumpster House Saying that someone lives in a dump is pretty hurtful, no matter if it's true or not. For one man from California, though, living in a dump is his pride and joy. And it's a place that gives true meaning to the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Gregory Clone is a designer and engineer from California who decided to move to Williamsburg, Brooklyn to further his career. Upon arriving, he was stung by how insane the rental prices were. So he decided to think outside of the box and instead, he picked up a disused old dumpster for $2,000 in order to live in it. Incredibly, Gregory's ingenuity turned the dumpster into a fully functional living space, complete with a bathroom, comfortable bed, and even a deck with a barbecue installed. 
Gregory even decided to add a sunroof so he could catch some sun rays in the vibrant New York summers. He said that the best part was, if he didn't like his neighbors, he could just wheel his dumpster home to a different block. The Treehouse Village If you've ever dreamt about living the life of the Swiss Family Robinson out in the remote jungle, then this next one will make you pretty envious. In fact, this couple takes things to a whole new level because they're living in every treehouse building kid's picture-perfect home. Back in 2006, couple Erica and Matt Hogan were looking to purchase land in the wild rainforests of Costa Rica after falling in love with the country and dreaming of building their own home in a tiny slice of paradise. They stumbled upon a portion of land that was being marketed for potential deforestation and decided to save it from the chopping block. They took one stroll through the jungle and realized that it was the ultimate location for a tree house. But then they couldn't stop building. Since 2007, the Hogans have built over 25 structures in the canopies of their treetop retreat and the structures just keep on growing. Literally, their treehouse village has attracted hundreds of curious tourists who can also stay among the treetops. So much so that it's become a full-time business for the couple. Yeah, so anyone want to go build some more tree houses? <laughs> the Dumbo Clock Tower. Come on, you've got to admit, living in a clock tower is something straight out of a Disney film, right? Well, this incredibly unusual home located in downtown Brooklyn comes with a Disney-style price tag, too. Hold on to your hats, because the Dumbo clock tower is the most expensive property ever sold in the New York borough, with a price tag of $15 million, and for a good reason. As a triplex penthouse in Brooklyn, the Dumbo Clock Tower boasts 6,813 square feet of unrivaled luxury, including a custom-built glass elevator that accentuates the most incredible views of New York. Oh yeah, and also, the fact that this property is literally built into a clock, that's incredible. The Dumbo Clock Tower has four 14-foot clocks doubling as windows that surround the apartment with astonishing ceiling heights of over 50 feet. For $15 million, you can literally live inside of a clock and watch as the hands and minutes tick away in the most unbelievable fashions. They say that money doesn't buy you happiness, but it can certainly buy you a clock tower house. The Flintstones House Designed by notorious architect William Nicholson and built back in 1976, the Flintstones House was originally one of several experimental domed buildings that were testing out new building materials and techniques. The result was this, roughly 2,700 square feet of an alien-like shelter built on a cliff overlooking California's San Mateo Creek. Throughout the next few decades, the unusual house would be passed from owner to owner, and by the mid-90s, it had fallen into disrepair. In later 2017, however, new owners moved in, and then had an eye for revitalizing the Flintstones' prehistoric design. Over the next few years, the new owners installed giant steel sculptures of dinosaurs. They also included giraffes, woolly mammoths, and even a lifelike replica of Fred Flintstone himself. The current owner, a woman named Florence Fang, thinks it's the most wonderful home in the United States. Her neighbors, however, disagree. House Nye. They say that people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, although that was originally meant to be a metaphor for humility. With this next house, it's meant in the literal sense. If you've got nothing to hide, then you certainly wouldn't have a problem in staying a few nights in these see-through homes located in a quirky neighborhood of Tokyo, Japan. Built by Su Fujimoto Architects, this 914 square foot transparent house was allegedly inspired by our ancestors, the kind that used to live in trees. The interior of this incredibly unique home has barely any walls and the house boasts large glass windows that pretty much cover the entire exterior. Obviously, there's an abundance of natural light, but that also comes with a few downsides, mainly being the complete lack of privacy. The design is intended to mimic a tree, with several levels that simulate climbing from branch to branch without actually entering a new room. Although this place sounds great to maybe spend a day or two inside, living in House Na would require an entirely different way of life. Whoever makes this place a home better develop a good relationship with their neighbors. 
the upside down house. Uh, okay, nothing to see here, folks. This house is completely normal, other than the fact that everything about it is upside down, literally. Built back in 2007, this upside down house was designed by a Polish businessman who originally created the project as an artwork to symbolize the end of the communist era in Poland, ushering in a time of great uncertainty. Now, it's one of Poland's premium tourist attractions, and for the tiny village that is located in it, it's a source of much-needed commerce. Situated in the tiny village of Zimbark, thousands of tourists flock to the upside-down house each year. Completely clad in timber, the build allegedly took over five times longer than a house usually would, with the largest contributing factor being that the tradesmen who built it would often experience disorientation. As you may imagine, literally building a house upside down isn't the most normal thing for humans to do. Visitors enter the house through a window on the roof, where they then bravely walk along the ceilings and try not to get lost in this bizarre, disorientating maze of a home. Although no one actually lives here, this is certainly one of the most unusual houses in the world. Mr. Toilet House. Ever thought about living in a toilet? Well, believe it or not, but for the small sum of several million dollars, you can achieve that dream. This is perhaps one of the most bizarre homes on the planet. Built by a former South Korean mayor, Sim Jae Duk was born in a toilet at his grandmother's house, which may explain why he became obsessed with sanitation and toilets and would later found the World Toilet Association. In 2007, in honor of the founding of the WTA and Duck's lifelong dedication to championing the technology of the toilet, this toilet-shaped home was built in honor of Sim's dream of one day living inside of a toilet. After his death, Mr. Toilet House was donated back to the city and is now a museum to Duck's lifelong obsession with toilets. That's it. It's a toilet-shaped museum for toilets. There, we've got the 10 most unusual houses in the world. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and stay tuned for our daily content. You've been watching The Supreme. See you next time.